Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to show how you can use the connectors in order to change quickly the configurations of your connections um, between two mesh, even from a for an offline mesh. So here I got a request which was I have these C-bar elements connecting two shell mesh and I want to replace them by a combination of a 0D C-bush, a 1D C-bar and a 0D C-bush. Uh, how can I get to this quickly in HyperMesh? So for this, uh, I will use the connectors, um, but prior to show you the connectors, uh, there is a preliminary step that we need to do. Uh, because this configuration, Cebush, Cebra, and Cebush, is not available by default in HyperMesh. So to make it available, first we have to edit one file from the installation, which is the fe-config file, which is in uh, program files Altair 21.2. This is the version I used for my case, HW desktop HM being win64, fe-config.cfg. So this file builds all the possible realizations for the connectors, either for the spots, for the bolts or fasteners, for the seam lines, um, every one of them. And they are sorted by um, solver profile, and each configuration is defined by its solver, an ID of configuration, of the type, which is the type that you will see uh, in your interface when uh, defining a, or selecting a realization. And then for each uh, a filter, which is, is it intended to be a spot, is it intended to be a bolt, a seam, etc, etc. And then you can define a head, a body, and sometimes you won't have any head, uh, you will have at least a body. And possibly you can add some post scripts once you've done the FE realization. So let me scroll down to the Optistruct part of it, um, where I added one configuration, which is this one, so CFG. So you don't have specific limits for the ID of the spot world. You can pick any number which is not already in use for this solver. Uh, you can define your own label. And for this one, we define this configuration. Uh, so it's a spot with, on, with no head, only a body, with a spring, with a bar too. Um, 1D element, a config. So 6 here is a config of the element. So 6 is for the spring in HyperMesh, 1 is for a bar. And here for this bar, we have the dot 99, uh, which is the element will be 99% of the realization, let's say, then we will just have a spring at the top and the bottom. So what you can do is copy paste this block into your own FE config file. Um, we know that a lot of the time you don't have the writes on your um, installation. So this config file, it can be saved in your HyperMesh starting directory. Uh, so remember your HyperMesh starting directory, by default it is uh, my documents. Uh, it can be changed also with the environment variable HW config pass. Uh, so, and this allows you to store it in another location where you have permissions. So now let me come back on HyperWorks uh, and let me go to the connectors. So first what I will do is to absorb this cbar this cbar element as connectors so let me go to this icon and you see if when i over my uh, mouse over the icon i have this small uh fe absorb which appears here i will ask for the configuration with it which is a bar tool then i can hit on play and you see that i have a green point now or a green cylinder that have been shown which is my connector um, graphical object and then I can go to the connector browser I see now that I have my five points for my all my elements what I can ask for is to unrealize my connectors so you see now my green cylinder which means my connection was realized moved to yellow the connector is not realized anymore 
and I will just change my realization switch to push and bar two. And then I can right click again on my entities and realize again. And here we see the C bar and C bush. Once you've done this, um, what you can do to conclude is to go to elements, for instance. Uh, you can pick them by config. You can pick your C bar, for instance. Okay, you want to right click, edit these five elements in order to assign back the property if you had the property attached or other ones you have to set a new one and same for um, the again if i pick the pi config i can pick my cbush okay i can right click edit 10 elements and then i can i have no property yet in my model uh, i can just right click left to the in define create and I can create a pbush property with the information of interest for my pbush or I can have my k-line for instance and define I can call 1000 here for instance and here's my setup is done so hope it uh, can help you for dealing with such config configurations uh, in the future Thanks for reviewing this video.